<clears throat> there are many aspects to the incident this time, too many to be honest, considering that it may be good to look back on everything that's happened. So then. Would you like my help? Yes! Yeah, let's look back on things. Mm. This morning, only four of us met up at the dining hall. Hina, Kyoko, Yu, and myself. We waited for the others, but nobody showed up, so we decided to go look for them. It was around 8 o'clock when we began our search, and soon after we split up, Kyoko disappeared. After that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room on the third floor, then quickly came and got you and me. According to Celeste, she was attacked by a suspicious individual and lay unconscious for about an hour. In other words, she was attacked an hour before we found her. Gonna sip some tea. It's peppermint, by the way. It's very nice. I love how warm it is. I love how warm tea is. And the reason for that, especially at the moment, is because it's been really cold lately. And that's just because we're finally getting some rain. And as much as I do love the rain, I love it a lot. Um, I wish it wasn't so chilly. <laughs> We have had good weather too, though, because my area just is always fluctuating. Meaning just after 7 o'clock. Based on the picture Celeste took, we discovered her attacker was dressed in a strange costume. It was Robo Justice. It also became clear that this Robo Justice had dragged Hifumi away. After meeting up with Toko and Byakuya, we began searching for the costumed assailant. We found an injured Hifumi in the library on the second floor. We took him down to the nurse's office on the first floor, then resumed our search. But not long after leaving the nurse's office. What's wrong? I saw a shadow, something moving around at the top of the stairs. Based on Celeste's claims, we went back up to the second floor where we split up and began searching. Then right after that, Celeste screamed. This time she had apparently seen the suspect on the third floor. Hearing her screams, we quickly made our way to the third floor. Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costumed man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. And then... Yeah! Uh-huh. What was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been... Hifumi! He's in the nurse's office! This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. At that point, we decided to split up into two groups. Celestina and I went back to the nurse's office. Meanwhile, Yu, Byakuya, and Toko pursued the suspect up on the third floor. And when we got back to the nurse's office... We found Hifumi's corpse. Which is also when we heard the body discovery announcement play. I left Celeste and Hina alone and headed back to the third floor to tell the others what had happened. However. But at the same time, we had discovered Taka's body in the equipment room, which means Sifumi and Taka's bodies were discovered right around the same time, because I remember hearing the body discovery announcement play right after finding Taka. And that's when I showed up and told you and Byakuya that Hifumi had been killed, right? Then you, me, and Byakuya all headed back to the nurse's office leaving behind Toko who had fainted. But as soon as we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste who just arrived to tell us something very unusual. Oh hey Knives, it's been a while. How are you? Fumi's body has disappeared. We hurried back to the nurse's office to disappear that his corp- er, to discover that his corpse was in fact gone. Mm. Then we remembered we had abandoned the unconscious Toko and rushed back to the equipment room. Yeah, a lot happened, like, all at once, and it was literally, like, all over the place. I have a feeling that Celeste is totally in on the murders, though. I just don't know how to prove it. But there's gotta be a way that we find that out somewhere down the line, right? Are we hallucinating all this or something? No, we're totally not. It's just being... It's just crazy. This time Taka's body had disappeared, so from there we began our search for both of the missing bodies. And after some time, Celeste told us she'd found the bodies and we all headed to the repository. And there we rediscovered the two bodies that had apparently vanished. Yup. 
And that brings us up to now. However, Looking back, things have certainly been very active. If you want to look back at the case again, just let me know. I'm fine anytime. 